Okay, I'm going to explain to you really simply how to create a contact sheet with photographs that you've saved into your Google Drive. Okay, the first thing we need to do is open the folder where the pictures are saved. In this case, it's in saved pictures, and then it's in the example folder that I've created. In here, you can see that I have some photographs of a sunrise with some leading lines. What I'd like to do is first of all resize the screen so I can see more of the photographs so I can make a better contact sheet. To do that I move the mouse over to the three dots in the corner. I zoom out to about 80%. I then scroll down so I can see all of the pictures. If I can't quite see them all I'll zoom out a bit further. This time to that's too far so maybe to 67 percent that way i can then see all my pictures now if i want to change the shape i can click on to the restore button i can move the window so that i have exactly what i want in my field of view once i've got this i will use the snipping tool which i will find by going to the magnifying glass typing in sn clicking on snipping tool clicking new I will then create a new snip of my contact sheet. Once I have this, I will go to the internet. I will open my new tab. I will go to my drive. I will open my folder and my examples folder. Now, at the moment, I don't have a slideshow, so I'll create a new one by clicking on slides. If you've already got your slideshow, you just open your slideshow. Once you have the slideshow, we'll call it examples. And then I will create a new slide. I will title this contact sheet. Simply typing in what I need. Then I will click anywhere on the screen so I don't have a blue box. I will press Control V. Rescale my contact sheet. And there is my contact sheet. Now, that is perfect. I then need to choose my best four. To do this, I create a new slide, call it best four. Now this time I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'll make my screen big so you can see what's happening. I will click on the insert image. I will collect the drive icon. I will then look in my drive for my save folder and for my example folder. It's saying there's nothing here, so I might need to refresh. Hopefully there will be something here this time. So I will go to insert from drive. Go to my drive. Go to saved. Go to examples. Still saying there's nothing there, so I'll go to recent because I need to do fairly recently. And if we get to a situation where we can't find them, that's okay as well. We can go back to my example folder. I can zoom back out so they are big again. I can click on one, for example, this one, which I really like. And then I can do it with the snipping tool instead. So I click new. I create the snip. Making sure I've got the whole picture in the frame. I then go out of that back up to my slideshow and then control v once i've clicked on the screen and there is one of my best four google sometimes takes a little while for things to upload i'll check see if it's in my drive again it's still saying there's nothing there which is obviously going to take it a little while to refresh so i'll go back to my drive Choosing your best four is all about finding that shot that has got everything you need on it. And also we're going to be doing some edits later, so that will work as well. This one is a really good example of the leading line. So if I click on it, you can see I've done it as portrait format. And you can see that line that runs all the way through to that point. It really draws your eye into the picture and it takes you across to where the sunset is, sunrise is, sorry. So if I do this, if 
I click on the snipping tool, click new, create the snip, and then I go to the presentation, click on the screen, control V. I then have that one. Now it's all about how I lay out my page. There is, you don't just have to stick them all next to each other. Google Drive will give you red lines when things line up, so that's really useful. I'll then go back to my drive, find two more examples that work for me. This one's too similar to the one before, so I won't be using that one. I think this one up here might be a better example. Yeah, this is a landscape. See the line of the beach and the horizon? That's a really strong image. So remember to click on the snipping tool, click new, create the snip. I then go back to my drive and my presentation, click on the screen, press control V. Now, I think this one would look really powerful down in the bottom corner because of the way the lines are going. And this one possibly there. This one could go a lot bigger. And then I think we need one more. Possibly go back to my example folder. Choose one more effective shot. I really like the one with the railing, so I'll have a look at that one, see if that one's more powerful. Go back to the snipping tool, click new, create my snip, go back to my drive on my Google slideshow, click on the screen, press control V, and I think this would look really move. Sometimes if you click on the wrong thing, the wrong thing moves, so you can have to be careful, rearrange things, find the thing you want to move. If you don't want that, you can click on it and press backspace. Then I want to get my best four back up as a title. I want to arrange my pictures so that they look really effective. I think This one would look work well there. This one needs to be a little bit smaller. Arranging space is a very complex yet rewarding activity. So I think actually I will swap the order of those two around. Place that one there. Or a bit smaller, same size as that. Move them over, move that one down there. So it moves that one there, move that one down there. And we'll bring that one into the middle. Move scale it. Now, in this space here, I can write. A text box to describe why I like them. I have chosen these. Which you can also spell check as you go. Chosen these photographs to demonstrate. The use of leading lines. The eye is drawn into the image by following the lines of. Spell check any words that I've misspelled because I'm not a very good speller or typer. And there you have it. Now, this is an example then of a best four of leading lines. So I'll actually title it Best Four Leading Lines. 
And then I can check how I have done. I can go to present. And there is my slideshow. And there is my contact sheet. That is what I'd like you to do. Thank you very much for watching. And enjoy uploading your photographs and creating your own presentations. Thank you.